reproduction in organisms first let us see about life span the period from birth to the natural death of an organism represents its life span the life span of organisms are not necessarily correlated with their sizes life span of various organisms elephant 60 to 90 years dog 20 to 30 years butterfly 1 to 2 weeks crow 15 years parrot 140 years cow 20 to 25 years horse 60 years crocodile 60 years fruit fly 30 days tortoise 100 to 150 years rose 5 to 7 years banana tree 25 years rice plant 3 to 4 months banyan tree 200 years Whatever be the life span death of every individual organism is a certainty no individual is immortal except single celled organisms there is no natural death in single celled organisms as they divide and form two new cells reproduction it is defined as a biological process in which an organism give rise to young ones that is offspring similar to itself and offsprings grow and mature and in turn produce new offspring thus there is a cycle of birth growth and death types of reproduction reproduction is of two types asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction asexual reproduction when offspring is produced by a single parent with or without the involvement of gamete formulation the reproduction is asexual reproduction sexual reproduction when offspring is produced by two parent and also involves fusion of male and female gametes it is called sexual reproduction asexual reproduction in this single individual is capable of producing offspring offspring not only identical to one another but also exact copies of their parent are produced and also they are genetically identical to each other clone is used to describe such morphological and genetically similar individuals asexual reproduction is common among single celled organisms plants and animals with simple organizations binary fission In single cell organisms cells divides into two halves each rapidly grows into an adult example amoeba and paramecium budding in yeast cells the division is unequal small buds are produced remains attached initially to the parent cell and eventually get separated mature into new yeast encystation under unfavorable conditions amoeba withdraws its pseudopodia secretes a three layered hard covering or cyst around itself this phenomenon is termed as encystation sporulation when favorable condition returns encysted amoeba divides by multiple fission and produce many minute amoeba or pseudopodiospores cyst wall burst out spores are liberated in the surrounding medium grow up into many amoeba and this phenomenon is known as sporulation special reproductive structures 
organisms like fungi and algae they reproduce through a special asexual reproductive structures most common of this are zoospores they are microscopic and motile in nature other common asexual reproductive structures conidia in penicillium buds in hydra gemmules in sponge are the common asexual reproductive structures vegetative propagation it is also known as asexual process in plants runner rhizome sucker tuber offset and bulb these structures are called vegetative propagules in protist and monerians parent cell divides into two and give new individuals thus in this organisms cell division is its mode of reproduction water hyacinth an aquatic weed also known as terror of bengal they propagate vegetatively bryophyllum shows vegetative propagation from notches present at the margin of leaves asexual reproduction it's a common method of reproduction observed in algae and fungi this organism shift to sexual method just before the onset of adverse conditions and in higher plants both sexual and asexual mode of reproduction is exhibited most of the animals they reproduce only a sexual mode of reproduction hope you like this video thank you